morning, it's Ruby and today I am starting online classes. So it is Monday the 23rd of March. So the university closed this time last week, but they cancelled all classes until now so that students had time to get home and obviously it's been a really stressful time so that was really nice of them, but I am excited for my classes today. Yum. So I'm having this smoothie. I put half of it in a bowl for a smoothie bowl. I don't know why, just because I wasn't sure which one I wanted. And I also have got half this papaya. I don't think I've ever tried papaya. If I have, it was when I was really little and I can't remember it. Mmm, it's like melon. I am going to start off the morning by just doing 20 minutes of writing. Technically I can say that this is studying, kind of, because I do a creative writing module. So as I said, I start off the morning with some writing. I was just writing some of my book for about 30 minutes. After that, I made a timetable for the day. If I'm gonna have a productive day, I do like to make a timetable because it just holds me accountable. And especially at the moment, I think it's important to have structure because we are at home for a very long time. And um, this is the main thing that's helping me to stay productive. Then after that, I got on with doing some admin tasks. I wanted to do all of those little things I needed to get done in the morning so I wouldn't be worrying about them. And yes, I was listening to Christmas music, even though it's March. I was also sipping at some Earl Grey tea at the same time. This is the Dragonfly Earl Grey Rebus one. It's my favourite tea. And then, then I got on with some studying. So I started off by writing up some notes for psychoanalysis, which was one of the criticisms topics that we'd done. And I'd handwritten my notes and... Since this is one of the topics I want to do for the exam, I really wanted to write these up into a, con a concise, typed format. So I got that done here. If you're wondering, I am colour coding these notes. So if it's in blue, it means it's just an original thought. And if it's in pink, it means it's an original criticism of an argument, like a direct criticism of something that's been said. So here is my amazing tea setup and I also got myself a snack of some coconut collaborative yoghurt and frozen mango. Yes, I have put my coat on because it's very cold and I've gone downstairs to grab my tea. I get myself this every day at 11 and it's just a nice little ritual and I can have beautiful morning tea. <laughs> Then I got back on with work and here I was working on an essay that I've got due. So the essay is on a poem, I'm doing it on a poem by Emily Dickinson and I just made note of the three key things I wanted to do whilst working on the essay that day. And I kept on sipping at my tea, of course. I did blur this clip because obviously it is a summative essay that I'm working on so just for privacy reasons I did blur it um, but I just went through and made some edits to phrasing. Paper make flare pen, 
has just died on me and it's very sad because the color on this is gorgeous if you can see such a good pen i would definitely recommend i'm very sad to be bidding it goodbye i always do this i've had this jumper for three or four years this tag has been annoying me that whole time and i never cut it out so i'm just going to quickly do that because it's actually really frustrating i'm going strong with this um I'm just going through and doing a little bit of a fine tune to it because some of the sentences just don't sound right reading them back. And I haven't looked over this since I wrote the second draft. So I'm just making those edits and also highlighting anything that I want to find a quote for, do some more research for. And so my next step is to actually get on with doing some research work and doing some more readings. So let's keep on going. So I continue to work on that essay. I worked on this. So I worked on this from 11 till 2 and then I went downstairs to get myself some lunch. I decided to make some garlic mushrooms and I will put the recipe on the screen because they turned out really good. I just made this for the whole of my family and everyone else had theirs with toast, but I decided to have mine with a strong roots, kale and quinoa burger. These burgers are so, so tasty. And then I did write a letter, but I didn't film me doing that for some reason. Um, and then my mum and I did a walk over to the local post box so we could post, so I could post the letter I'd just written and my mum had a few letters to post as well. And it was such a beautiful day and such a great day for a walk. We've just walked down through the woods to go and post a letter. Okay, now I'm going to do some reading for that essay which I was working on earlier and I need to look for some more resources on Dickinson and Rhyme so I'm going to be looking through Paligo and seeing if I can find anything. I went and got myself another mug of tea. Um, I just really like tea and then I logged on to Paligo. So this is the website. Honestly, I cannot recommend this enough. I've been using it to be working on my essays at the moment because obviously we don't have access to a library and it's a platform where you can access loads of different books and textbooks and it saves you from buying them as a student because obviously it can be very expensive to buy textbooks. It's also a really environmentally friendly alternative to buying the textbooks. You can just have them all digitalized which saves on paper. I just went looking for some books on Emily Dickinson and then I read through these. One thing I really love is that I can make highlights as I'm going along because I am a big annotator. I love to annotate my books. I love to make little notes as I'm going along and Paligo lets you highlight also color codes. So my color code was purple for critics, orange for this is just interesting, yellow for this will fit with my essay. And then at the end, I could just access a page which showed me all of the notes that I've made, which was really useful. Also keep in mind that there is a two week free trial, which really is just worth trying out. There's a bee just behind my garden. I want to close my window, but I don't want it to get trapped. Oh, so then here I was actually putting in my confirmed choices for module selection. Now module selection was open. I have chosen modules in American Studies, Theory of Adaptation from Book to Film or Book, book to Theatre, Theatricals, which is like Shakespeare, and also a module on religion and the holocaust which i really wanted to do this year if i were doing theology yeah and i can then after that i continued working through the perligo resources that i have been looking for i skimmed through three of the different books i didn't read them cover to cover because not all of the information was relevant but you can search through the text and look for key words and things which is what i was doing because i was mainly only really needing information about rhyme so after I'd finished that and after dinner, I decided to do some sorting. I just completely sorted out my bedside table because it had got so messy somehow. Okay, it's late and I'm going to go to sleep now. I will give you a little tour of my bedside table drawers tomorrow because I sorted through them and I'm so happy with how they turned out. So, so this is my bedside table. 
So first of all, at the back, I have my bookmarks. Please ignore my hands, by the way. I've been eating blueberries and my hands are a complete state. In this one, I've got some stationery, sticky notes, washi tape, and also down here, I have some Bongella there at the moment, which I don't usually have, but I'm using it at the moment. At the back, I have this mini box. Inside, I have old fashioned things. So I've got these two jam toppers, which I got from a garden center. And I've got a mint tin, which isn't very old fashioned, but I think of it as old fashioned. I've got some spare buttons that I need to put onto my coat and also my handkerchiefs. These are so pretty. Usually this is out on my nightstand, but at the moment it's irritating my hands because they're quite chapped. Then this box isn't usually going to be here. These are photos I just need to put into my photo box. My photo box is up there. It's that crate over there. These are my very miscellaneous things. I just have no idea where else to put them. At the moment, I've got some clinical gloves. Sometimes I'll wear these and then I'll just wash my hands as normal with these so that I don't hurt my hands. I've got my two Crazy Iron Thinking Putties, which I really love to use. Both of these are the Phantom ones and I've got a sleeping mask as well. Then in the bottom drawer, I've got my journal here and my old journals underneath. Here I've got these headphones which are, my mum does radio and so these are radio headphones that she didn't want so I've got those. In this I have got business cards and tickets. I also have some crossword and sudoku and code word books back there and my marauder's map is at the bottom. Here I've got some hard drives, a spare watch, and then in that tin I've just got some papers, three glasses cases here, my purse, and also a whole load of candlesticks. And then in here, toys, I guess. So I've got some film for my Polaroid camera at the front, then at the back I've got some playing cards, a squishy, a fidget cube, and this very cute elephant, which I just really like. Yeah, there we go, that is my bedside table and I love how it turned out. Thank you so much to Pearl Hugo for sponsoring today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching and I hope that you have a productive week.